Well, you guys, this is a great way to start a morning. It's an alligator. Sweet! And he's going away too. I kind of wonder if these things look exactly like they do on the box. You know, all that stuff is usually a lie. True. Very true. But I'm getting kind of hungry. All right, let's see if this thing looks like it does on the box, if it will. I guess it didn't lie-ish. It kind of looks like the way it's supposed to on the box. It's hot in here today, you guys. Um, last I checked, it was about 100 degrees outside. Probably gonna turn the AC on here in a minute. Not supposed to, because I didn't pay for it at the marina, but who's gonna care over five, pardon me, running it over five minutes. Let's see how this thing tastes. It looks pretty good. Squishy. Pretty good. I kind of feel like the inside was a little bit misleading. It is way, way too hot. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's good to have an AC unit. What's up you guys? It has been really hot today and I've not done a normal vlog entry as I do every day so I will go and I will do it now. What's up you guys? Chad Guthrie the Dream Poet here of course. Coming to you all with day 34 of my vlogging experience here in the state of Florida and I think I'm going to do my first True Blue movie review, and none other that I will be choosing is John Wick 3. Paradigm, Paragram, Paradigm, however you pronounce it. Gonna go in there tonight, gonna watch it. I saw chapters 1 and 2. First one I thought was, was better, but still I really liked how chapter 2 carried on. It's amazing. What a man will do, especially an assassin, if you killed both his dog and he stole his car. And on top of that, how does a man kill three men with a pencil? Let's do it, you guys. Let's do this, you guys. John Wick Chapter 3 was freaking awesome. Dude, I absolutely loved it. I just now got back from the uh, the movie theater. But my God, you want to talk about how this universe started out from a cult classic film and it is just constantly built up, up, what am I trying to say? It is built up upon itself and it has only continued more and more. Now, chapter three laid the groundwork for chapter four. I'm really looking forward to that one. Now, I'm not going to waste any spoilers on that for the ending, but dude, it was so freaking good. Um, chapter 3 takes off from Chapter 2 when John Wick was, oh, what's the word, excommunicando. And from there, with his open contract, you'd see, you just see like as if he has prepared himself for just an occasion such as this um, at one point during the movie he allows his dog to stay at the Continental while he goes to the New York Public Library 
to receive what he calls a ticket, which is a crucifix, and you really get to see what John Wick's life was, his past, before he became the boogeyman, or what I should say led up to him becoming the boogeyman. You see a lot of preparation. You also get to see where the coins were manufactured. I think that was the second act of the movie, I believe. Um, Haley Berry, awesome as always. Great actress. I look forward to seeing what they're going to do with her character in the future. And I can't quite remember his name. He's the king. And you guys, it's just so cool that he received six cuts and like you think that the Thai table killed him but no no like again but that I'm saving for the end I don't want to waste any spoilers or if you've already seen the movie go check it out the John Wick series seems only to get better and better and better I'm looking forward to chapter 4 let me think what old is there's just so much goodness to this movie if you want to even call it goodness I'm not sure if that's quite a word by the way check out my light um I, I kinda I'm exchanging these for that but sorry off topic but like it's also at the beginning of the movie when you see the open contract happen I mean there I don't know, it's like this big storage area of all these knives. I mean, there's just like this one guy while Keanu, uh, well, Keanu Reeves' character, John Wick, is just throwing knives and knives at the guy, and the guy just won't die. And it's like, what the hell? So, I mean, overall, I would give this one an 8.5 out of 10. I kind of want to do... Movie reviews, critiques, stuff that is a little more higher quality. I know when I did, when I watched Avengers Endgame, I wanted to make a review on it. And I might still, I mean, it's been out for a few weeks, probably not. But still, you guys, it's so freaking good. But, having said that, I think... I'm gonna call it a night for tonight. Got work tomorrow. I got this film bar I'm going to that I'm gonna try to ingrain myself into Jacksonville's video production culture. I'm looking forward to that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna call this a blog for in the night. Um, sorry it's a little bit late. Um, I, I just had to catch a late showing of John Wick. And I believe I will try to attach my other, I mean, I'm kind of just thinking about canceling that, but that does not exclude the drawing that I'm doing. Remember, subscribe, like, comment in this video, and once I hit 100 subscribers, all 100 of you will be immediately entered in a drawing to win a $50 Walmart gift card and a t-shirt with the Dream Poet logo courtesy of yours truly. Thank you guys. Thank you all for being the wonderful fans that you all are. This makes day 34 and I'm happy. Having said that, remember you guys, keep up with me at Dream Poet at Facebook and at my Instagram in the links below. Thank you all very much for the love and support. I love you all very much. Peace you guys.